Hey guys, Joe here again. Welcome back to the channel. And we're gonna have a little update on the garage. We're gonna go back in time a little bit and build these two workbenches. So stick around. All right, so here is the square tubing for the bases on the benches all bundled together. I had the steel supplier cut it to length just to save me a little time and a little easier to move around not in the full sticks. Alright so there is the materials for the legs on the bench. I'll lay those out here for you in a bit. And we'll show you what the washers and bolts and nuts are for a little later in the video. I apparently forgot how to count when I grabbed the bolts. There's supposed to be eight of those there. So we'll have to run back and grab a couple more. Rough layout of how the legs are going to work on the benches. The one in the center there is how the side legs are going to look with the smaller cross brace and the one on the outside that's the front and the rears and what we're going to do is we're going to use this nifty little clamp that'll keep them at 90 degrees and we will buzz them together real quick here So as you can see, got the first set of legs welded together here. I think it turned out pretty decent. So both the benches, or the bases to the benches, are all welded up. As you can see there, we used a little TIG action on that. All right, and now we'll move on to what the nuts, bolts, and washers are for. Essentially what we're doing here is nut will get welded onto one of those bolt will get welded onto the other so this guy with the nut welded on there let me flip the bench over real quick there we go that guy with the nut Gonna get welded onto there, and then we will be able to thread that guy in, and that's just a little homebrew leveling foot. So we'll get those buzzed together here. All right, as you can see there. Got the little leveling feet on that. I got this one flipped over for you. So you can kind of see how it works. 
there is one of the feet, still a little longer. They just thread in there and you can spin them out or in, depending on what you need. All right, got my paint and tarp out and uh, we hit little bases with a coat of primer. And now we're ready to throw some color on them. Gonna do some Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. Ooh, fancy. Doing it in gloss spring green. And that is pretty similar to the color of the flares on the 914. So that's what we're going for. All right, as you can see, we are in a different location now. We got the bases all painted up and uh, moved everything back to the uh, garage at the house to finish up the wooden tops. But there is both bases with the little leveling feet on there. They are in spring green, I believe, is what I painted them. Matches the flares on the old 914. So right there, got the pieces to the top. I already cut down the bases to size. And uh, what we're gonna do here is use some plywood on the bottom, got some oak for the tops, and they will be wrapped with those guys. So there is what I'm using for the top. So there's the actual size. So I got two of those, and then these are for the sides. Got four of those, as you can see right there. And then the bottoms beneath are just some three quarter inch plywood. So it'll end up being inch and a half thick. And this is 16 inches wide. And the bottom piece is 18 and a half inches wide. And you'll kind of see what I'm doing there once I get everything put together. So yeah, we will start cutting this stuff up. Alright, so I've got the tops all put together and we just got to finish sanding them, get them all smooth. Next up we're going to router the edges here just to round them off a bit. I also kind of changed up how I want to have the tops. I went ahead and grabbed some 4 inch wide oak and I'm going to do a little backsplash as well, so we'll get that cut and put on as well. So the backs are on now, the tops are finished being made. Here's one on the base there. As you can see, it's a little overhang. It's pretty nice. 
So now we're going to coat them. Right, up, right side up there. And using some varathane, triple thick polyurethane. We'll do a couple coats of that. And they should be all good to go then. And we'll get them zipped on the top. And then they are going to go up against that wall there. So got the first coat of the polyurethane on the tops there. As you can see, it is wet there. We're just doing a clear satin on these guys. So I think they should look pretty nice. And uh, we will probably let that dry overnight and maybe I'll come back out later. Not sure yet, but for now, we will wait and head back inside. Does that sound good to you? You gonna go back inside? Yeah, we'll probably throw the next coat on in the morning. So, got the final coat of polyurethane on the tops there. So, we're going to flip these guys over and get the bases mounted to them. There is the benches upside down. Alright, to mount them to the tops, we are going to just do four screws. Um, ran a drill bit all the way through on those guys and then enlarged the bottom hole I guess it'd be here so the screw head would fit through so we'll get those zipped down is the completed workbenches. All we gotta do is clean up that area behind them up against the wall so we can get them back and we're gonna do that right now. There is the completed workbench setup. As you can see, it should make for a fairly decent work area. Um, not too deep, so it leaves some room to work in front of the car. Um, I was originally going to have them at about 24 inches deep but midway through after doing some measurements I decided to uh, shorten them up to 20 inches deep so had to modify the design a little bit being I had the bases already made yeah so here they are fits nice with the Harbor Freight tool cart And like I showed earlier in the video, make a bunch of noise here. Got that little pocket in the back. So instead of having stuff roll around on the top of the bench, you just throw it back there, not gonna roll off. So any hardware or small items, that was the uh, idea behind that. It's just three quarters of an inch deep. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, any questions on them, just let me know. So I'll do a quick little measurement to show the exact dimensions. So all said and done, they turned out to be just a touch over 49 inches wide. And they are just about 37 and 3 eighths 
tall. So that's about the height I wanted them at. Wouldn't be too hard to change that if you just built longer legs. So yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. And as always, I uh, appreciate you guys killing a little time with me tonight. And if you want to keep updated on this garage, just a little small garage that I'm playing with here at the house, and some of the other car projects, just uh, hit that subscribe button.